Dragon Angel, that alone is giving me a headache. And now we have unknown pursuers chasing us. I sure hope the people from AD Dimension bring, up, bring us some good news. All right, and we are back. So last time we had a full rejoin of all the rest of our character of our characters from the other universe. Um, we also have a bunch of cash and we have a bunch of attack points. So actually, before we start going into um, other um, the factory vignettes, which we didn't get a chance to watch last time. Um, let's look at a couple other aces. Uh, Ryoko and... I think anyone else is high enough level yet. Okay, Ryoma's ace already. Body is ace. Belt. Phobia. Okay. Alright. Not so much. Um, let's actually do our suborders then. Kincaid has already hit ace anyway. Well, he both these past the threshold. And. Alright, so we're good there. Later. There are low level characters in the other universe leveled up. And then. All the rest. Extra attack points. Well, there's almost an ace. But you have to cash to spend on stuff. Let's check to make sure... That they had an overall look. Okay, Kincaid has proud ace. Good. Alright, so let's get these vignettes done. Guardian, Gouldy, new battlefield data analysis complete. Tactical processing capacity equivalent to 100 attack points, acquiring data. And yet, there's something within me I cannot analyze. If this is anxiety, time is of the essence. I'm using new headphones, by the way. Bernadette? Yes, Nine? You and Toby are quite dramatic together. Is that the reason you came to help me prepare dinner? Was it wrong? Not at all. But I was thinking that you're definitely feminine in nature if you enjoy talking about such things. I am an AI. Oh, what do we have here? Two lovely ladies preparing a meal? There's a glimmer in your eye, Tobia. You wouldn't be planning on sneaking food, would you? Don't, Tobia. Resources are limited as it is. Well then, I'm just gonna have to sneak it pirate style. Ugh. Nine? Her face is turning bright. Her, her face is turning bright red. N never mind. All right. So let's see. Not enough to, to uh, unlock that one yet. Um, rage extender. That is actually useful enough that I do want to save up the cash to get that, the attack points to get that one, rather than just buying it outright, rather than getting the more easily available soldier medallion, because I want that range extension. Alright. Okay. Do I have Commander as a skill that I can unlock? No, that's something you have to be... Train... That's something to be trained in. That's something worth um, leveling up in the future. Um, skill program. Yeah.
All right, so we've got a couple. So I've got a range up and evasion up skills unlocked um, to dole out. Your evasion isn't great. This one needs more. Uh, belt's not great. Here, because I'm at 154. Who's the weakest on this? Okita, but also, I mean, there's only so much you can do with the Yamato. Um, Maito, actually, I mean, yeah, it's a super robot, but super robots can be kind of dodgy in terms of evading things, in terms of bad. Um, because, like, by comparison, uh, Actually, probably want to use some of this on is on the EVA pilots. Asuka's pretty good. Where's Ray? Ray is 114. Shinji's 117. Let's put this on Ray because Ray is a healing unit. As a, as a primary, we're using her in combat. Uh, unit zero in combat. Shinji and Asuka are probably going to be more combat focused. That makes them a little more comparable to Asuka in terms of combat capability. Yep, back to exactly the same skill. Okay. Alright, and customization. Okay. Um, hmm. General combat ability, Bang Ray, pretty solid across the board. The Gundams, I think, needed a energy upgrade, though. Not the Zeta. Or the Unicorn, because the, um... Attack when you're using the unicorn's um, NTD. Is much has much more kick to it. The new Gundam. I think it's all range attack is ammunition based. I put two more points into um, weapons because I'd like to have Amro be actually more useful in combat. Uh, well, what am I needing for the next mission? Okay, using Might to the next mission, so actually let's go back to Might Gang. Might Kaiser? So this is um the new mech for uh um appar <laughs> apparently uh Maito had some serious upgrades done over the past couple times. Um Okay, I'm kind of curious. Do I have any information on what exactly the attributes do? Uh, and I got a cat on lap. Like ability list. Parts list. Nope. Um, 
Okay. All right then. Um. All right. So actually, let's. This is actually important, so I'm going to take the time to read this on stream, because I know what the hell it does. Um... Oh, hold on. I haven't locked any of those yet. Um... This is in-universe stuff. Okay, not as helpful. Um... Universe uh, description. Um. Oh, actually, it's worth taking a look so I can see where we've branched. There's we are now. Yeah, and theoretically we could go back and select some of these and view the other route, but we're not going to do that. Nope, that's not it. Maybe. Nope. Um. Uh, I was. I was hoping. All right. Go back to this. My Kaiser. I think sight's going to boost your accuracy. Also, your weapons upgrades, since the early ones are pretty cheap. Then go max upgrade your sight, which hopefully will give you more, uh, considerably more accuracy, and upgrade your weapons a little bit. Alright, and now time to deploy. Before I do that, one thing I need to do really quick. Let's save the game. Since I've done all those upgrades and had that dialogue. We're back. Everything's fine. I will edit this out of the video. Oh, boy. I am sorry about that. The cat leap up in front of the television and nudge something, nudge a control on the TV. All right, so I save my game as well. All right, so moving on with the game. This is why leaving cats on their own is dangerous. The AD defend AD Dimension Fleet has arrived. That the Nondisco? According to Captain Hush, notes the successor of the Nondisco B we knew, and the pink colored ship is the Eternal from Plant. The battle crew seems to have increased over in their own dimension. Yes, but it seems all their ships took damage. They hardly seem to be in shape to help us. Fill the down into patrol the current waters. We're going to have to head for Tokyo 3 as we are. We'll debrief there as we resupply. Understood, sir. Nerves Commander Akari is a good man to arrange resupply considering the condition we're in. He is a uh, mad administrator as far as for different degrees of mad science. I won't clear my throat. He, he has entrusted his son Shinji to us. He obviously trusts us greatly. <laughs> uh, you certainly have a different interpretation of uh, Shinji Aka of uh, Gendo Akari than is evidenced in, in the show. Hmm. Commander? He purposely summoned us. We can't let our guard down.
Where are you headed, Nine? I thought I joined the world information debriefing taking place in the hangar. Will you join me, sis? Hmm. I will absolutely go to see everyone. Sure, I'll join you. It's been a long month since I've seen everyone. But don't worry, I get it. This isn't exactly a party. It was that now with all of us banding together, we can change things. I have to believe that. What about Gain? My Gain was heavily damaged as a result of my loss to Joe the Ace. Gain is now at Sinpuji Heavy Industries for repair. Are you fighting in Might Wing now? No, I'm using Drill Express, aka Might Kaiser, for now. Might Kaiser doesn't have a Super AI installed, but with his flight capability, its battle prowess matches that of Might Gain, which allowed me to finally defeat Joe. And now that Black has joined us, we've gained a new member of the, Bla of the Brave Express Corps. Gain's brother, huh? It's encouraging to have him. And Zam got bot three got powered up with Beal I Beal Eyes Ion Cannon too. Daitarn three and Zambot three were successful in using a combination attack. We'll show it to you next battle. The biggest surprise for me is the new Nondisco. We call it the Nondisco C. It allows us to utilize Rory's cracking abilities so we can take over enemy computer systems. You've changed a little, haven't you, Akito? Have I? Well, I think it's largely in part to my help. Eureka's back! For those of you I have not met, pleased to meet you. I'm Eureka, Akito's wife, and the battle advisor for the Nondis to go see. Stop it, Eureka. You don't need to be so clingy. I, so I probably should have voice acted that slightly differently from being more lovey-dovey. But we're newlyweds. We need... We need to make up for all the lost time we were apart. But but this is neither the time or the place. Just look around you. I, I appreciate the fact that Akito is still maintaining his sort of Nondisco equivalent to Shara's novel um, dark and brooding masked look, even though he's back reunited with his wife and she is like having none of it with this brooding thing and is like taking every step possible to kind of take the kind of just take this down a peg. Um, er, my apologies. That was thoughtless of me. It, it, it's not a problem. I stand corrected. You haven't changed just a little, Akito. You would rather quite a bit. Speaking of Hitch, you all only know him as Akito the Avenger. The guy cuddling with his right wife here is the real Akito. It's great that you're back together again. Thank you. We all, we look forward to working with you all. I'm interested for when Akito and Yurika get reunited with, get to meet Sasuke and uh, Konami. That would be kind of, just kind of awesome. Akito and Yurika seem to be getting along quite well. Not unlike you and Lacus when you got together. R really? Just kidding. We have to admit, you two really did show us a real strength in your bond with each other. Seems Kira and Shin have finally learned to compromise. Yeah, you're right. Overcoming his past has helped Shin grow m much stronger. He and I were dead on with our combination attack. Being able to use the out meteor outfit on the Eternal has made my justice and Kira's freedom much stronger. Our Gundams have been, our Gundams have been upgraded as well. The Zabanaya and the Harut with upgraded with parts, and my Raphael and Quant both have received power output upgrades. Hold on a second, Tyria. Don't forget about Graham and my machines. Our mobile suits are significantly stronger now with the Transam. With the power just the power of that that alone, there isn't anyone we cannot defeat. Embryo, the evil mastermind of the AD dimension. Celestial being must avenge his monstrous distortion of the world. So Soji left Tatsu's home. Yes. And he hasn't contacted anyone since. That sounds like Soji, careless as ever. Are you worried about him? Of course. Soji may act like he does, but in fact, he's a pretty... Sh I believe the word you're looking for is shrewd. Shrewd character. Not shrew character. Shrewd. I'm, ex I'm sure he's doing well. I expect he'll show up when the fighting's over.
All right, first, would you please introduce yourself? I'm a descendant of Aura and the Princess of the Fr of the Frasia, Vice Admiral of the Imperial Guard, Salamandine. That that's a set. That that's a name. That that's a name that somebody wrote. Somebody wrote and did not necessarily expect to somebody to have to pronounce. Like that, that's got to be a mouthful even in Japanese. In your language, a dragon, a person of this world. A dragon. So the legends are true then. You did exist in our world. The red pseudo paramail that we fought countless times is Salias. It's called Enryugo. En en Please stop using that word, paramail. Angie, it's so inelegant. But your machine names are too difficult to remember. Well, it seems like those two have become friends. We erected a barrier and isolated ourselves, choosing to live as such for several thousand years. Several thousand? Correct, since this planet's civilizations were all destroyed. Destroyed? It's been speculated that there were once advanced civilizations, but it has never been demonstrated. Well, I mean, there's... There's the Dinosaur Empire that you guys fought in... Freaking in the original Getter Robo series. But maybe this didn't happen in the continuity of Getter Robo Armageddon. I still need to watch that. I finished Record of Ground Crest War. I'll probably start up Getter Robo Armageddon next. Maybe I'll I need to finish up Aideon. I have a long, long pile of shame. To watch list. Can you tell? So we've been unknowingly living alongside dragons this whole time? I think the expression on Ben K's face pretty much says it all. It was only natural you didn't know. It's, in, it's employed in, It's impossible to infiltrate the barrier. We ourselves employed an invisibility barrier to hide ourselves when venturing out. In other words, advanced stealth capabilities. You call yourself a dragon, but you look completely human to me. I'll let this young lady explain. Question time! What am I? You are Vivian, no? Correct. But I'm also a dragon. Ah, that explains your somewhat psychotic demeanor. What? I excuse me? Maybe difficult to swallow, but it's the truth. Vivian is a dragon. Again, considering that she is kind of borderline psychotic with violent, with very violent impulses, not too difficult to swallow. She is indeed a, the Dragon Clan. She lost her memory in an accident in which she ended up living in your AD dimension. Moreover, women of our kind can train form at will. Of the dragons we fought, the smaller forms were women and the larger ones were men. Shinji is still kind of like bewildered and poleaxed by this. Dragons can change into humans? How did you obtain this ability? Long ago, we, like you, weren't able to change. Our transformation came thousands of years ago during a war. With... Man versus man, and man versus evil. Boys becoming men, men becoming wolves, werewolf bar mitzvah! I'm sorry. The world was on the... was polluted by that war, and humanity was on the brink of extinction. I'm thinking of my episode title for this one, by the way. Dragon Bar Mitzvah. Dragonium. In the distant past, it purified the special cosmic rays and the crystallized supersymmetric particles. What? We're supposed to bring the war world an enlightened age. War broke out soon after its discovery instead. It was used against the enemies of humanity, but in the final battle of the war, Dragonium went out of control and destroyed the world. Boy, we ran into this with, um, when I was watching, uh, <laughs> Record of Grand Crystal War 2, but only the last episode. And the abandoning humans, the sorry humans abandoned that Earth and traveled in search of a new land. On the parallel Earth, those were my ancestors. Those were my ancestors. I'm assuming you're another dragon tusk? So, Tusk, why won't you tell me what's going on? Why won't you tell me who's on the phone? Who are you? Tusk! I'm sorry. Um... <laughs> I mean, you had me a Fleetwood Ra Mac reference. I'm going to take it. Chance to make a Fleetwood Mac reference. The chance to make a Fleetwood Mac reference. I'm going to take it. 
My name is Tusk. I'm the last of the ancient people. My stories were and legends were passed down through the ages, and eventually, loosely, and, and eventually, the melodies of those songs were were adapt were used in another piece of work by your by your human band Fleetwood Mac. Ancient people. According to Commander Jill of Arsenal, the humans who escaped the pollution of the Universal Century Dimension came to the AD Dimension about 500 years ago. What? After forcefully entering that dimension, they tried to create a deal of society and race of humans. The founding nations, humans who could use mana. Aha! After reaching the AD Dimension, their very existence was denied. They became the ancient people. Ideal world? You call a world where those who were born unable to use mana and thus discriminated against ideal? That's a fair cop. The Norma births from his calculation, but he uses discrimination against them to maintain the status quo, furthermore using them to intercept the dragons. Who is he? I have kind of missed it. We've been over in this universe fighting weird aliens from outer space called angels? And also giant monsters created by a bad scientist. We've been busy. A man called Embryo. The man who entered the 80 dimension, created the founding nation, and through that power has controlled this world from the shadows. Controlled the world? Jill has described Embryo as a god. The history of the 80 and the history of the 80 dimension can be described as a war against Embryo. As a countermeasure against mana users, the ancient people gave birth to children with modified genes, of which the coordinators are just one type. My name is Lacus Klein. I'm with Plant. The secret of coordinator births was told to me by my father. This bit in the, is like the, the, with the uh, connection between the dragons and coordinators, obviously, is unique to this game. Also, a celestial being Fower, founder, Eolia Scheinberg, is related to the ancient people. It is believed that Celestial Being was in part organized to chase down and overthrow Embryo. Embryo is the man behind the deployment of the Ragna Males, the ultimate weapons used to destroy the world in the past. The Black Paramale that appeared on Mars during the final battle was also a Ragna Male. The ultimate weapon that destroyed the world? Is that the kind of power Embryo wields? Embryo enjoys controlling the 80 dimension. He does it for pleasure and out of his own interest. That, that is what makes him a monster. There are the many wars in our world are his doing. The ancient people joined with the Norma to overthrow Embryo's tyranny. And several decades ago, we were able to steal one of his Ragnamir, Angie's Vilicus. In order to meet out, bring out the machine's true power, certain criteria have to be met, and Angie meets them. In fact, Commander Jill has been forged... ...is affording Jill into a weapon... ...weapon for her counter-effective, Libertus. Commander Jill has been forging Jill? That sentence... ...doesn't quite work. Quite obvious, this embryo character is evil as all get out. So your dragons are out for revenge against the man who destroyed your world by invading the AD dimension? Before you answer that, I want to know why the people of this world have the ability to change into dragons. Both of these questions are related to our god ancestor, Aura. In order to live in that polluted world, my ancestors made a profound decision. By you the power of Dragunium, we remade our bodies so as to adapt to the environment. Remade? Correct. That was the birth of Aura, our great god ancestor Aura, the great founder who, who reshaped the flesh of her own body to live in that polluted environment. In the words of your people, the first dragon. Dragons are humans who remade themselves? This is a really big info dump. My ancestors took responsibility for their sins and decided to live a life of atonement and purification, side by side with Aura. The men transmogrified into gigantic dragons, their bodies dedicated to the purification of the world. Incredible. Taking the dragoonium that polluted the earth into their bodies, they changed it into stabilized crystals. There are times when women work and change and work with the men, and there are times where they birth and raise children. With the effort to never make the same mistake again, our ancestors decided to part ways with industrialization and limit ourselves to living in harmony with nature. Which is why your outfit takes a few cues from... Shinto, and possibly also from some of the popular culture depictions I've seen of the Ainu. Just 
Sorry. This dragon named Aura is a leader of yours, ordering you to invade the AD dimension? That's incorrect, I'm afraid. Our god and sister Aura is currently in Angie's world. I'm not sure I follow. I feel like I need to watch two separate anime series to attempt to try and combine them together. She was taken there against her will. In the distant past, when Dragoonium was discovered, Ragnamail was produced. The world was destroyed and abandoned, and behind it all was Embryo. Again with this Embryo guy! Do you have a picture of him that we can see? Do you know what, where the power that that, that that world calls mana is derived from? You can't be saying what I think you are. Dragons are responsible for Magic the Gathering? The light of mana, Utopia, the world of magic. They're repeating it all, all of it is the energy from Aura's Dragoonium. Someday it will be exhausted and will need to be replenished. Dragons are killed, crystallized Dragoonium extracted, and it's given to Aura to recharge her. I, I see. That is the expression and look of a man who does not actually see, but is just saying so, in the hopes that, that the really bizarre exposition will someday stop. That is the truth of what Norma have been putting their lives on the line for. During our fight, we've learned that Aura is being held in Angie's ancestral homeland, the Misu Misurugi Empire. I no longer consider that country my home. Angie! According to Setsuna, Angie is not only despised by her brother and sister, but they, but they planned a public execution of her. Yeah, that's a reasonable reason to write off, to write off your family. She's right, she no longer has a home or family. Well then, let's get right to f defeating Embryo and freeing Aura. What are we waiting for? With the war on the 80 dimension finished, you can help us, and then we can become friends with the dragon people. And that is a sentence which I never thought I'd get to say and I end up saying in my life. I feel like there should be like a couple lines here where like people like suck, where like the people from the Universal Century universe or the New Correct Century universe say these lines um, and then stop for a second and go, that's a set. Those are words that came out of my mouth. <laughs> you must not underestimate Embryo. Tusk is correct. The Ragnar males in his possession possess unimaginable strength. He destroyed Arzendal in the battle in which Salia, Ursha, and Chris all went missing. Salia! Ragnar male are machines with the power to destroy the world, huh? Can he really destroy the world with just a couple machines like that? Good news, you're on the rebuild of the Evangelion timeline. But, depending on how this, these things shook out, and how they want to have the uh, rebuild timeline connect with the original series or not, um, the Evangelions have the power to destroy the world. Or be the catalyst for the destruction of the world. That's the power of their dimensional resonance weapons. I hope to replicate my, that power with, my, with the space-time convergence cannon on my Enryugo but the Fragnamales have the power to destroy space-time as well. Destroy space-time? Are you serious? That is the power of Dragoonium. Power that creates mana and destroys space-time. Or, or that can create... Can create, mana, can create mana and destroy space-time. Is both fearsome and horrible. Okay. Um, that's... Again, we're, we're running into all these little typos here, which is taking this this massive info dump and making it even clunkier than it was before. It's the same power we use, though. Ryoma? It's all clear now. Dragoonium and Getter Rays are one and the same. Correct. What? Dragons exist to purify Dragoonium, and that ability allows them to suppress Getter Rays. It sounds like you know a lot about the existence of, dragoon, of dragons already, Dr. Saotome. Wow, organisms that actually absorb getter rays. Well, I guess it's no wonder you dubbed the new Shin Getter Dragon. So what you're saying is the residual getter ray pollution from 15 years ago dissipated faster than expected because of dragons? Under the direction of our leader, the High Priestess, our friends and fellows have been dispatched to aid in the purification. So our world was saved by dragons. Again, these are sentences where, like, the people saying them should, after saying these sentences, should stop and go, that those are words that just left my mouth. Afraid of making the same mistakes as our ancestors, we cut off contact with the outside world. But we do not wish for the destruction of the world. The planet, this planet is very dear to us. 
I usually believe that, then I believe that I'm positive we can be friends and allies. Like Angie and the other Norma, in arguments of the situation, they were your enemies. It is most unfortunate. But now that we all know the truth, how can we not come to a compromise? Until just a little while ago, I would have flatly rejected your offer. However, in light of how narrow-minded I have been, I am delighted to accept your offer. Sala! Angie, you are the one who changed my mind, and so I will gladly fight side by side with you. Me too, Angie. I no longer fight by your side as a knight of Vilicus, but rather as a knight of Angie. Thank you, Tusk. Angie's embryo's target, and so it falls to all of us to protect her. Because he wants to recover the stolen Ragnar Mail? More personal than that, in essence, he wants to obtain Angie herself. Stop it! The very thought of the way he looks at me is giving me the creeps. But now you're in, in, are in this world. There's no way he can track you to here. You would be mistaken. Have you forgotten, Koji? Embryo is originally from this world. Ugh. You manipulate time and space through the power of Dragoonium. He was even able to infiltrate our, tra our dragon barrier. Princess Salaman today. We have an emergency. What is it? High Priestess says something is here to destroy order. What? Destroy order? There's an emergency. It can be communicated from Nerf A to Q. There's an angel on approach to Tokyo 3. What? Commander Akari anticipate this situation when she called us in for help? To help? I assume that's he. Because Yui Akari is not present at Tokyo 3. Yui Akari is currently present on, on the fleet right now with her soul and consciousness being within EVA Unit 1. That's something here to destroy order, as the Dragon Clan says. Could it be the Angel? That's not all it seems it can do. Those who disturb peace and harmony should be considered enemies of the world, and thus we should work towards the common goal of defeating them. All I need to know is where to shoot. Everyone to your machines. Angie, wait. There'll be some time before the Angel arrives. We should intercept it before it gets here. That won't be possible. The Eighth Angel is descending from space. Oh, I know this one! This is the run from three locations on the map to one point, combine AT fields, and then kill the angel one. What? Like, this angel, I don't recall this one actually made it into the show or not. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.